full screen if you can. Mid-July at the rainwater pool, everything is lush. In fact, even the places we did excavation this year are starting to grow back in and become very lush. And that includes the rainwater pool where all kinds of vegetation is starting to grow on the bottom. Since the pool refilled in late June with the big rainstorm, there have been all kinds of falvers toad tadpoles floating around. Here's a bunch of them on the bottom. Um, how many you see depends on the time of day. What you also should notice is just how lush everything is. Remember when it went dry, the area where this is being taken was completely dry for weeks. And now, all of the life in the water is back. Most of the tadpoles are still pretty young. You can see this one feeding pretty extensively on plants growing at the bottom of the pool. It has very small legs, whereas this one, when it turns, you'll see, has much larger legs and is older. Much as I love Fowler's toad tadpoles, the real joy this summer season is the great tree frog tadpoles. Their gold bellies, blue color, red tails, and um, this year I'm also really understanding their feeding mechanism. It's the first time in years I've seen enough of them at any one time, or gotten even a good look at them. I think the way we restructured the rainwater pool has made this into better tree frog habitat, so they've always survived here, so I'm not sure. But anyways, this is a great opportunity to watch the tadpole feed. It seems to have a very different keratinized structure next to its mouth compared to the fowler's toad. And it uses it like a comb. It combs through the water and then the tongue comes out and licks it off. Here we are in slow motion watching that same tadpole. scenes you'll see the Fowler's Toad tadpoles in the background. Notice how much smaller they are and how much faster they are. The tree frog tadpoles are pretty stately. They have to kind of go pretty slowly because they, the comb they use to comb out the water, I don't think it would work very well if they were going really fast. But the Fowler's Toads can go very fast because they feed on the ground when, so they move from one place to another very different strategies allowing them to use the same place. Tadpoles should be around for a couple of weeks. So am I. Like that red color. So if you want to come see them, um, send me an email, send me a question through the, through the YouTube, and um, I'm happy to give you a tour.